Linda from New Zealand Stitch Bird. Today I'm sharing with you one of my latest um, favourite coat patterns, Simplicity 89, sorry, 8797. I've made two of these views. It comes as a full length view, comes sort of as a three quarter length view, and there is one that's just below the hips and one just sort of sitting right on the hips. So I've made D, which is just sort of slightly above the hips, and I've made C, which is slightly below, sort of mid-thigh. It's a very easy pattern to make. It comes with full lining information and instructions. So the first one that I want to talk to you about, and I'll just grab it, is this one here. It's made in like a teddy fur, and obviously I'll put a picture of this up for you. So the texture on there is really cool. This is the one that's just slightly above, just all sitting on the hip. And I've done a really cool lining inside. I've started to use up some of the lining fabrics, or I guess polyester fabrics that I don't really want to wear. So I'm actually using them for lining. So it lines up really well. You can see it does a really neat job how they put the pattern together because the only seam that you have to finish is one little one in the middle here. You bring the arms through, you stitch them, so they've all been stitched on the machine with the lining. And basically the facing is all stitched and then you stitch the facing and the um, front part together. This one here I didn't quite have enough for the fur underneath but that's okay because you don't see it. It has quite a big buttonhole and I couldn't use my buttonhole foot. I'll just see if you can see that. Yeah, so I just used an ordinary foot and just did um, just a manual sort of a buttonhole. And then I've just got one button on this one here in the front. It's got really roomy pockets on the side. They're side pockets so you don't really see um, them on the front. So that was that one. My next one was an upcycled... I guess uh, project so I used an old blanket it took a bit of figuring out because I wanted to match the stripes down the sides and also uh, down the seams of the sleeves probably the front lapels I could have done a bit better but unfortunately I was limited because some of this blanket had little tears in it they weren't moth holes but they were actually little tears I paid $5 for this blanket 100% wool from a market close to where I live so that's what's left and this is the coat here so I managed to match down my side seams it's got the inside pockets again the difference with this one is I didn't really like how the pockets sat on the first one so I top stitched the pocket shape around and how I did that is I drafted up a pocket piece without the seam allowance and drew around it and then stitched on that line and it just keeps the pocket from coming out again it's fully lined this was in a, a uh, satin cotton so it's really nice to wear I even put the original blanket label back on. So this is a vintage blanket made close to where I live. So I thought that was quite good, showing that it's um, been made by blanket. And this is a little back, little strap on the back. And I cut that on the cross so I didn't have to worry about matching up seams and things like that. Uh, so I'll put a photo of me wearing this and the difference with this one is I top stitched all around the edge It seemed to me the 10 millimeters from the edge Initially, I wasn't too keen on this jacket because I thought it was quite oversized But in fact, it's been one of my go-to's these two jackets over the last few weeks being that we're right into winter now in New Zealand and basically you can throw it over anything it fits really well the sleeves are quite wide so that makes it easy to fit over jackets and things like that 
however I did size down I only made a medium the pattern says for a medium a 36 to 38 bust well my bust is 42 so I should probably have made a large but I really didn't need to because it's really roomy to wear so I'm quite pleased I sized down so that's just a wee tip if you're planning on making this jacket I would size down the size and you can still fit a jersey underneath it there's still plenty of room and I guess because it just has the one button in the front that's the most important bit to connect at the front and again I had to do a buttonhole using my manual machine foot my banana comes with a proper buttonhole foot and it wouldn't wouldn't have made it big enough so I had to just do it manually but that worked out okay and I put my little label inside there just to finish it off so it comes together really well and it's relatively simple I'd even say that this could be quite a good pattern for a beginner that's never made a jacket before uh, because it's really only got the two front pieces the back piece on the fold You've got the two sleeve pieces and the sleeves are really easy to set in because they're quite a wide armhole so they're really easy to put in and then you just make it again with the lining and the facing and then you're just stitching it all together so as i said before with the earlier one the only bit that i had to hand sew is about that bit there so it was turned right through from or bagged out right through just with that only that little bit to stitch closed and what you do is you pop the sleeves through this hole and you stitch them around the bottom so they've all been stitched like so so nice and neat I'm just trying to see if I can read so you can use denim low pile fur fabrics like the one that I use Sherpa fleece wool types I think it's excellent for wools extra fabric needed to match plaids and stripes so that's obvious so uh, that's what you need to allow for and I put a wee mark on my pattern or I use the notch or something down the side so that I can match it up for the back and the front and also line up on the sleeve so that I know that it's going to match around here a lot of these jackets are actually in store at the moment in New Zealand and it's interesting it really irks me actually when I go to see them and you're paying big money and they haven't matched anything and to me I just I can't cope with it it's got to be matched so to me it's a sign of being a quality garment if all the um, checks are matched but as I said you can cheat a little bit like what I did with my um, belt on the back putting it on the cross and often, often I'll do that with likes of collars and pockets and things so you don't have to worry about matching I'm not too worried about my lapels, it sort of doesn't entirely match but it's not too bad. So overall I'm really happy with it, so what I suggest you do is go hunting at the local charity shop, see if you can pick up a blanket um, and get sewing your own upcycled coat. I'll tell you what, it is so warm and cosy and people have already asked me will I make them one but I've said you've got to give me the blanket anyway thanks for joining today and next time I'm going to be doing a wee DIY project see if you can see a little uh, hint of what it might be in the photos that I've put up today of me wearing these two jackets so again this is a pattern I'll put a pic of that up as well and any other things that I've talked about will be listed in the description box below. If you've enjoyed watching some of my videos so far, please subscribe because I would like to continue to make them for you with that little bit of New Zealand flavour. Thanks for watching. Bye now.